How's it going, guys? So we have a medium difficulty question for pharmacology slash pathology for step one. This is not going to be a lengthy clip, okay? Very factoidy. I'll cut to the chase, not waste our fucking time. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now let's start the fucking clip. So a 16-year-old boy brought to the physician by his mother for a two-month history of blood in his stool and pain in his hands. A lesion from the patient's elbow is shown below. Scraping of the lesion causes bleeding. This is psoriasis with Auschwitz sign. When you attempt to scrape off the silvery scale, it causes bleeding. Okay, classic for psoriasis. Not difficult, not complicated. So we say, well, what about the blood in his stool? This is IBD, okay, inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn or ulcerative colitis. You say, well, why? HLA B27 constellation, pair, P A I R, psoriasis, ankylosing spondylitis, IBD, reactive arthritis. So, for example, if they said this kid, rather than blood in his stool, he's got lower back pain that's worse in the morning, gets better throughout the day, that's sacroiliitis, okay, ankylosing spondylitis. So, how do we treat plaque psoriasis? We start off with topicals. So, vitamin D derivatives, calcipotriene. Then we move to topical steroids such as triamcinolone or hydrocortisone. Then we move to coltar, okay? Now, if a patient fails topicals for psoriasis, for the plaque psoriasis, then we, we can move to oral agents, all right? However, if a patient has systemic psoriasis, as this kid does, he has psoriatic arthritis, okay? Five to 10% of patients with psoriasis will develop arthritis. We can only treat this with orals. Clearly, topicals aren't going to manage this. So that's what this question is asking for. All right, how are we going to treat systemic psoriasis, the first line agent? Uh, slash, if he failed uh, treatment for the plaque psoriasis, what would we give him first line orally? All right. Now, there's two answers uh, in real life, and I've seen them both on NBME for how we would manage a uh, patient orally first. Uh, however, they're not going to give you both answers simultaneously. There's only one correct answer here. And as I said, I'm not going to make this lengthy clip, cut to the chase. Methotrexate is the answer U.S. simile usually wants, okay? Methotrexate, dihydrofolate reductase inhibitor, that's an enzyme, okay? Now, the other agent that can be used is called acetratin. It's a vitamin A analog. I have seen it on an offline NBME question. Not my fucking opinion, okay? Methotrexate, highest yield. That's on some of the new material right now, but I've seen acetratin. That's a vitamin A derivative. That would be a nuclear receptor, okay? It's not an answer here. So our answer is enzyme for dihydrofolate reductase, okay? It's a cellular enzyme. Now, I just want to tell you some high yield points real quick, okay? Strong value here is that you need to know steroid hormones bind to intracellular receptors, all right? Testosterone, estrogen, progesterone, uh, aldosterone, cortisol, bind to intracellular receptors, very high yield. In contrast, peptide hormones bind to cell surface receptors, such as prolactin. So for example, let's say a 23-year-old dude is running some lab experiment, and he determines that hormone X binds to a cell surface site. And they say, what's hormone X? And you're like, what the fuck? And you'll notice that four of the answers are steroid hormones. Those are wrong, because those are intracellular binding sites. Whereas uh, prolactin would be the correct answer. It binds a cell surface receptor. Okay, very high yield. Obviously not the focus of this question though. Lymphocyte antigen, this can refer to CD20, all right? On B cells, uh, rituximab is the agent that targets that. Very high yield drug for USMLE. It's an immunosuppressant, but also can be used uh, EG for Hodgkin lymphoma. Polymerase, vague answer. DNA polymerase, acyclovir, gancyclovir, acyclovir uh, for HSV 1 and 2, as well as VZV, uh, shingles, herpes zoster, gancyclovir for CMV, RNA polymerase inhibitor, rifampin for TB. Okay, very high yield. So your summary here is we are going to give oral methotrexate, which inhibits dihydrofolate reductase. It's first-line agent for systemic psoriasis or after a patient fails topicals for plaque psoriasis. Acetratin is a vitamin A compound that can also be used in patients with systemic psoriasis. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel and appreciate your time. That's it.